Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV. That's right. If you want to see more of me and you want free help, you want free advice, you want to go to the UK's only Septic Tank TV channel, then you know where to go. Just go onto Google and type in Septic Tank TV. So in this live broadcast today, um, I'm going to answer the question, which is, I'm just looking at the question over there. Okay, it's a good one. Yeah. Who is responsible? Respond. Oh, I can't spell responsible. Who is responsible for emptying for emptying septic tank? All right. Well, notice the person there asking me the question. Can you see that? Is that all there? Yeah. Who is responsible for emptying septic tank? Uh, they haven't put the word my septic tank. So that implies maybe... It isn't her septic tank. So I'll explain what I mean. So who is responsible for emptying, if I put the septic tank? Let me put the septic tank. There you go. <laughs> it grammatically makes a bit more sense. So who is responsible for emptying the septic tank? Well, if the septic tank is on your land, right, on your property, and it's your septic tank, and it's not connected to any other houses, so if you've got a septic tank, it's on your land, and no one else feeds into it, <coughs> then you have the responsibility of emptying your septic tank. Septic tanks should be emptied once a year, or if you put something like um, soak away worms in, then you won't have to get it emptied at all because the worms eat all the fat, the grease and the sludge. And the only reason you get a septic tank empty is to desludge it, not to suck the water out, because septic tanks are always full of water. People make the mistake of they lift the lid and say, oh, it's full of water, we need to get it empty. That's not true. You're emptying your septic tank once a year because you're desludging it. You're sucking out all the fat and the grease and the sludge. So it's your responsibility to get it emptied once a year, unless you put soak away worms in, in which case you don't have to get it empty at all, because they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. If the septic tank, all right, so if the septic tank is on your land and the next door neighbor empties into it as well or you've got all your neighbors emptying it into it it's still your responsibility to get it emptied because the septic tank is on your land but obviously you'd split the costs with your neighbors all right so let me break this down for you okay so if i make this really simple okay so if we go number one if it, you must empty your own septic tank, all right? So you must empty your own septic tank if on your land. All right, there you go. That's pretty simple, isn't it? If it's on your land, you must empty it yourself, regardless whether you just go into it or other people go into it. Right, if it's on someone else's land, uh, if on someone else's land, they must empty it. Empty it. You know, shared septic tank systems really do present a multitude of living legal problems because although if you're if you so someone else's your septic tanks in someone else's garden or it's a shared system obviously and you all go into their septic tank obviously as i said it's their responsibility to empty it but then you have the problem of um if they want it emptied every day you've got to split the cost every day this is how i got into the septic tank business um we had a septic tank in the neighbor's garden there's four terraced houses we all emptied into her septic tank she decided to get it emptied every week and it was costing uh 400 pound a week 400 quid a week to get this thing empty that was 100 quid each and there's nothing we could do about it and it made us ill it made me and my wife ill so um eventually i thought stuff this i've had enough and i put my own septic tank and soak away and that's how i got into the business and i've been helping people ever since so yes there are variables to this but just keeping it really down to its bare bone basics you must empty your own septic tank if it's on your land, even if other people empty into it. If it's on someone else's land, they must empty it. But 
The downside of that is they can decide to get it emptied as often as it wants and you have to pay the money to them. You know, there's no way out of that. If they took you to, if they took you to court, there's nothing you could do because it's a shared system and you all have a part share and responsibility in paying for that. So there you go. You must get your septic tank emptied once a year or you can put soak away worms in, which uh, will negate the need to getting your septic tank empty because they'll eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. So listen, hope that answers your question. Thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today. Septic Tank TV, just type it in on Google if you want to see more of me, or just go to septictank.co.uk. Loads of free advice there. Give us a ring. Uh, I'd love to give you free advice, free help, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.